Hello, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic New Delhi. So in this educational video, we will talk about inhalers, how do we use them, what are the common mistakes that parents usually do and how to rectify them. So as we know that inhalers is the best form of treatment for any child who has asthma anywhere in the world. So inhaler is basically uh, a system which contains a canister and an actuator and the medicine is actually filled in this canister. Now the advantage of using an inhaler over syrups, tablets or nebulization is that it contains the medicine in a concentrated form. It usually has 120 or 200 doses. You don't need to refill the inhaler again and again. Uh, it can be carried easily. It does not require any electricity, maintenance, it is portable. And the best part is the science behind the inhaler. So when, when we use the inhaler, the fumes which are formed, the medicine which is released would get into the lungs, into the airways of the child deeply where the inflammation is, where uh, to the parts where, which, is, which are causing problems. Now most, most uh, parents are, are not able to properly give inhalers to their children. Now that is the basic reason why inhalers may not be effective. So what most parents would be doing is, or what, what most adults would be doing is taking the inhaler by keeping in the mouth and pressing it, something like this. Now if inhalers are taken in this way, then the most of the medicine actually gets deposited in the mouth and in the throat and does not reach into the lungs. Now, what should be the correct way of using an inhaler for a child? So, whenever you are, uh, whenever we are prescribing inhalers to a child, we would always use a device which is called as a spacer. So, spacers can be available from different companies. These are the two common spacers which are available in India. You can use any, both of them are good with no problems. So let's see how do we use an inhaler and spacer. Now, spacers are available with, with mask and for a young child, so for example, a child which is less than three years of age, usually a spacer and mask both are used. So we, we would ask the parents to shake the inhaler connected to this end of the spacer. The, uh, the mask is attached on the face, on the nose and the mouth of the child, we press the inhaler and let the child breathe normally for around 20 to 30 seconds. And during this time, all the medicine gradually goes into the lungs. In a child who is slightly older, so somewhere between three or four years of age, two, six, seven years of age, the child would be able to hold on to this part of the inhaler, which is called as mouthpiece. So in this age group, what we do is we would, we would actuate or, or press the inhaler, the medicine would come into the spacer and the child gradually breathes in and out gently. So for example, like this. And during these breaths, most medicine will actually go in the lungs and a very minimal quantity is deposited in the mouth or in the throat. In a child who is older than 6-7 years of age and the child can hold breath, we, uh, we would, would help the child to learn to, to breath hold and that is the best technique. So what we do in this technique is we shake the inhaler, connect it to the mouthpiece put in the mouth like this
So as you can see, that we have we have taken a deep breath and we have we have held the breath for 10 seconds, and that is the best way inhalers can be taken in an older child. So if your allergist or pulmonologist has advised inhalers to your child, always remember they, they should be used with a spacer of any type and depending on the age, the technique is different and we have to master this technique so that our little kids get most benefit from the inhalers. So for more information, you can log on to our website on kitparak.com. Thank you.